Hello everybody, welcome back to another full modded weapon guide here on Fallout 4. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at this guy right here. This is a standard missile launcher, uh, which are pretty damn good base um, weapons anyway for uh, maybe getting you out of tricky situations, things like that. Uh, just a quick fix if there's something coming up on you and you haven't got a lot of health, that kind of thing. Always good to have one of these on you. But uh, yeah, these things can actually be modified quite nicely to give you some seriously good advantages. So we're going to take a look closer today at how and what can be done to this standard missile launcher to improve things. So here we are then. This is the guy. A little bit of an overview for you right now. As you can see, we have uh, 718 damage. It fires missiles, which we have 103 of. It's got a fire rate of 2. Uh, various other specs right there that is just the very standard base uh, of the uh, missile launcher and uh, that is what it looks like when it fires so we're here in the arena this is our great testing zone and we're going to go to the workbench and have a look what can be done so there are three categories here the first is barrels so you can either go from the standard barrel to the triple or the quad barrel now this actually gives it uh, an increased fire rate as you can see from 2 to 25 to 30 uh, it also makes the accuracy go down very slightly and of course the weight will go up as well as the value. Uh, so you're going to need adhesive, aluminium and screws to uh, get them up. Uh, the standard barrel obviously will fire one um, rocket at a time before uh, yeah, needing to be like reload. But as you can see with the triple barrel it puts a nice little attachment on it which allows us to fire three rockets at once. Pretty smoothly as well as you can see it really does... Uh, really does help things uh, so yeah obviously instead of just one missile and then uh, having to reload it actually lets you get three down which could really make a difference against a lot of enemies uh, but as you can see you can actually go for the quad barrel as well now this puts a beasty uh, little attachment onto it as you can see and now you should be able to fire four shots at once in succession now uh, a lot of people might think well is it really you know a big difference between three and four it actually is a lot of difference really um, that one extra missile can be the uh, can be the make or break situation right there so uh, I do recommend going for the quad barrel really but uh, if you want to stick with the triple then that's fine uh, right next then we're going to go back in here and we're going to look at the uh, the muzzle uh, mods so you can either get the bayonet or the stabilizer now the bayonet is uh, just a better bash rate it just puts a blade on it as you can see um, if enemy comes up close to you you can literally just go up to them melee them and uh, give a bit of extra damage right there uh, as you can see for the stabilizer though it makes things uh, a hell of a lot more accurate but the range is a lot less so uh, yeah it's one of those things where do you want the long range on a missile launcher uh, or do you want it to be uh, more accurate I personally with one of these with the size of the splash from the rocket uh, you don't have to be too accurate anyway so I'm, I'm not too sure about the stabilizer I'd rather have a bit longer range but it's one of those things where I've tested it it really doesn't make too much of a difference unless you are seriously long range so uh, yeah there you go I uh, I'd recommend putting that on anyway now for sights so sights is a big one really you can either get a scope on this one which will make it a hell of a lot more accurate um, and it is a lot better actually um, it does make things a hell of a lot easier because the standard sights on this thing are absolutely awful and I mean awful so uh, with this you've actually got a little uh, scope on it and now look at that you can actually see um, a lot more you can zoom in on your enemies a lot better and see them but you can also see exactly where it's firing in the crosshairs before it was one of these things where you looked through the, uh, the iron sights and they were just absolutely cack I think absolutely rubbish so you were uh, you could generally get it in the right area but as you can see now we can just go straight to that light bulb right there fire it on the cross there and hit our target absolutely brilliantly so that is definitely a really good attachment and probably one of the best ones you can put on this one believe it or not just to help you out uh, also as you can see with the scopes you can get your night vision scope which uh, obviously does what it says on the tin, it just helps you see better at night. Now it is getting light here, it's not the brightest of places, but it's definitely getting light, so you're not going to see much of a difference right now with this. But it's basically the same as the normal scope, except uh, 
it'll come up slightly greener if you uh, if you get me when in really really dark areas and uh, yeah when you're running through a dark place a piece of the country or whatever you want to just see around you then this thing could probably help quite a lot but one of the main things that this thing is good for I think uh, is on the scope and it's a targeting computer so this is a lock on fire mode which is absolutely awesome and I'll do some serious demonstrating of this thing in a minute but basically as long as you aim at a target you can spin around and then just shoot it and it will still be locked onto that target so as you can see right now here we are with our missile launcher now we've got the targeting scope on it there's a little triangle above that guy's head and uh, no matter where we fire now as long as that triangle is there um, the missile will go straight to him and kill him so there you go we've just fired up to the top right of him and as you can see blown to smithereens now this can get really cool and really pretty fun actually but once again there you go there is the targeting scope on him and we'll fire it backwards shall we and there you go as you can see the rocket just absolutely kills back in a different direction and uh, goes absolutely nuts right now now this is uh, this actually doesn't work for all four at once which is a shame we've got that quad barrel on but as you can see you can only zoom in at one enemy at once and target them it would be good if we could select multiple enemies and just keep firing but that would probably make things too easy but uh, yeah I just absolutely love this bit here where you can fire away from it and it just goes like into homing beacon mode absolutely awesome and uh, now we're going to go a bit over the top and just spawn in absolutely loads of super mutant primuses and uh, just sit there picking them off from our uh, little arena cockpit so uh, yeah there you go guys it's absolutely brilliant this one and uh, probably one of the, uh, the funnest weapons I've actually modded at the minute just because of this targeting scope really uh, and also the quad barrel which means rapid fire of missiles I've actually replaced this in my inventory now with the, uh, the fat man actually and I, I do like the fat man but I mean this is more precise by a long way it's not just instant KO of the whole area and if you uh, actually got enemies that you don't want to kill around but you do want to kill some enemies kind of thing so you know if there's a uh, you know enemies again near some NPCs and you don't want to blow them up then the uh, this is a lot better than the fat man but there you go guys anyway that was another full modded weapon guide on the missile launcher absolutely love this thing really recommend you actually go out and uh, give it a bit of a mod and uh, yeah thank you for watching really hope you enjoy if you want to see any other modded weapons um, then please let me know and I'll look into doing them but for now thank you guys and I will see you in the next one